Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y version. In this video we are going to actually get a lot done. Before we do anything though, something very important I got to do. We can't hold off on this any longer. We gotta teach Fly to LR Dodrio because Fly is very, very helpful in this game for a variety of reasons. The first of which we're going to showcase right now. So we want to teach Fly to him. We should probably get rid of Peck just because Peck has... 35 power and fly kind of has 95 power yeah it's kind of an improvement and yeah so actually has 90 power i think can't really remember it's not important right now anyways so the first thing we want to do is we technically can progress the game but i kind of want to do some backtracking so let's go use a move and we're actually going to fly all the way back to where is it where is it uh, uh, amberette town if i can actually select it on the map <laughs> And we have a Pokemon that we really want to get. In the previous video, we actually did a lot of stuff. We got the Good Rod. We beat the fourth gym leader. We saw a ton of our Pokemon evolve. And yeah, in this video, we're actually going to be getting our final party member. I know, it's crazy, right? This adventure is just feels like it's just started, and we already got all six of our final party members, man. Uh, it's, it's, it, feel, it feels good. It feels good, you know? <laughs> we're going to come over here. And da -da -da. And we're going to go to our bag real fast, and we're going to register a couple items. Key items, in fact. We're going to register the dowsing machine. We're also going to register the good rod, because these items are going to be using a multitude of times now. I'm going to show this off. Basically, it brings up a D-pad, and you can actually select which item you need. The first of which is the fishing. And? Oh, we didn't get it. <laughs> fishing in this game is actually, um... It's not hard, but I didn't still have gotten used to it, and the trick is to watch the hat. And there we go! And did we get the Pokemon that we were looking for? Yes, we did! It is Skrelp, everybody! Skrelp, the water poison type. It's pretty much essential to our team. Currently, we don't have a water type, and also poison. Poison in this generation, guys. Very good thing. So we're going to actually switch out Delphox for the time being, and get Eevee in here. Eevee's kind of on the weaker side, so you can probably... You know, just bite him a little bit, or probably, uh, let's go, hmm, I don't know. I don't want to kill it, but I don't even know how rare these things are, and yay, it flinched, super. So, essentially, Eevee is going to get some pretty good experience. It's not going to take this thing down, but because we're capturing it, it will most likely give everybody on the team experience, and all right. So, Skrelp. I just, I don't know what it is about this guy, I just, I guess I connect with him on an emotional level, because he just looks so cool, he's like, ugh, I don't even want to be here, I need my coffee, I, I like the uh, dark looking Pokemon, I guess, and we got the Skrelp, Nido. and I do have a nickname for this guy, but mm, I don't know, I still want to hear what you guys wanted to say about him, if there's one that's really funny out there, I'll definitely pick it, and Skrelp, the Mock Kelp Pokemon, it looks just like Rotten Kelp, it hides from foes while storing up power for its evolution, nice. This is actually a hint to one of its moves, is Camouflage. It can turn basically into a random type. Very nice, and put our dowsing machine away, not our bike. We need to get rid of that, and this navigation is a little annoying. Anywho, now before we do anything else, guys, I need to bring this up. There is, well, eh, it's called pokemon -a me Now, this is a function that's on the bottom screen. I waited all this time to show it off, and... Yeah, it's basically like a mini game for your Pokemon. You may have seen this in some trailers and stuff. And it lets you decorate your room and stuff, similar to Pokemon Dream World. And you're actually seeing the bottom screen right now, if I did it successfully. And we're going to switch out our Pokemon now. Something very important. Our Eevee here is going to evolve by this Pokemon of me. So basically, there's a couple ways to raise the affection meter for your Pokemon. The first of which is this, rubbing them on the head. However, if it is a music note and not a heart, you gotta feed them, because they're hungry. And yeah, then they'll give out some hearts. Now basically, the more powerful, quotation marks, the uh, treat, the more hearts you'll get. That's basically what we're aiming for. Yeah. So, pretty much just do this a little bit. This is essentially, I guess it's kind of like a mini game for younger players of the series. But this is primarily what you're going to be doing in Pokemon Ami, which are the little mini-games! Yay! And this is Head It. Basically, it's a mini-game. You tap on the Pokemon's head, and they bounce a little thing of yarn up in the air. 
Yeah, it's really, really simple. I guess it's meant for really young kids. This could have honestly been a Neopets game, to be frank with you. And yeah, just use the stylus and you know, just bounce it. It's pretty simple. The closer you get it to the center, the more points you get. Or that little star, not really the center. On some Pokemon, it's very hard to see, though. It's like Delphox, for instance, and what the? Pangoro, what you doing? He does not he does not look like he fits in here at all. It's like why am I here? Urgh, I hate yard. <laughs> and yeah, this is um I honestly like it. This is a very well done thing. It's not required. There's no there are actual benefits to doing this. If a Pokemon has higher affection, they'll actually get more critical hits and can sometimes just like just do things better. Like if it's paralyzed, sometimes you're like, normally it would be paralyzed, but since you love it so much, it'll actually attack. So that's actually a very cool thing. Also, I believe Pokemon that have max affection get 20% more experience from battles. Kind of OP. And yeah, that's pretty much the minigame. Oh my. I uh, wasn't really expecting that. Hmm. Regardless, though, we finish, and every time you clear one of these minigames, you're going to get Poke Puffs. The, uh,. Item that we got, which name escapes me for some reason. I think it was called Whipped Dream. Yeah, that was it. That is actually what these things are. They're just items and you give them to your Pokemon. And after a game, you can pet them on the head if you want to. But that's pretty much all we're going to do. I'm going to actually do a lot of the Pokemon on me off screen. I haven't decided when, but I'll let you guys know very, very soon. For the time being, though, we need to progress the plot. And yeah, Pokemon on me, pretty... I just wanted to show it off very briefly. It's... A very much appreciated feature, in my opinion. And yeah, let's head back to Cormarine City. And, well, start this episode off for real. Now that we have Skrelp, and we've seen that Eevee really likes eating cakes. Yeah. Now, guys, do you want to hear something pretty funny? And you may not believe me, but you're talking to future Johnny. Now, something that I did off-screen. We actually got Max Affection on our Eevee buddy right here. Yeah. Now, something incredibly special happens when this Pokemon is, well, the happiest it can be. Now, I'm not talking about happiness, I'm talking about affection. I guess I should really be careful of the wording I use there. But yes, currently, our little Eevee buddy is as affectionate as it could be. <laughs> now, something very special is going to happen, but hey, it's Lysander. What's up, dude? Professor Sycamore told me you can now wield Mega Evolution. This is truly wonderful. With this power, you can steer your future into a better direction. We can't just cover up the old filth with new filth. I implore you to consider what we need to do to change the world into a new, beautiful world. Yeah, okay, um... What does it have to do with Mega Evolution? I don't know, but... I guess we'll find out eventually. <laughs> Whatever he's talking about. And yeah, let's come into this new area and... How dare you keep us waiting! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ha, just kidding. Trainer, we weren't really waiting for you. We were just on our way to the power plant as Professor Sycamore requested. But the gate connecting Luminois City to Route 13 has been shut down from a mysterious power outage. We have to investigate. Hey, so there's Central Kalos and Costa Kalos, right? Can you tell me what comes next? Volcano Kalos. Oh, mountains. Darn, I was really close. So I'm going to take this opportunity to update your Pokedex for you. Super, now we have the Mountain Kalos Pokedex added to our Pokedex. Pretty cool, huh? And you know, you look different somehow. Your face seems more mature. I'm <laughs> just joshing with you. I'll be taking my leave now. Bon voyage. All right. Well, see you two dudes later. Actually, one of you is a dude and one of you is a woman. Anyways, we are now in the Badlands. If you don't know what a Badland is, it's basically a part of the world where only tough dudes hang out, including ground-type Pokemon, such as... Doug Trio, who's not actually that mad anymore. It's kind of annoying. Anyways, ooh, I guess <laughs> Vivi shouldn't really be out here. Well, he's just a side shock. Yeah, I just wanted to show that there aren't really tall grass here. It's more so just things digging around in the dirt that will randomly battle you. And yeah, that's pretty much all that's here. Bleh. For the most part, we should probably avoid some of these battles, so I'm going to try my best to maybe slow down a little bit just to keep my eyes peeled. But apparently I'm going way too fast, as Pokemon just keep coming after me. And let's jump over this real quick. And now what we're looking for is directly to the west. And goodness, I don't want to waste a repel, but I might actually have to. And this dude looks really suspicious. What do you say we get our anti-Team Flare member out, Jackie, and rustle this guy's uh, fancy suit? What's up, dude? 
I'm a member of the stylish team flair and I'm gonna win in style. Is that like your national anthem or something? Goodness. And yeah, there's some shady business going around with Team Flair, and hey, it's got to out a Hound Doom, as I predicted, because I always stick and start with Dark Types for some reason. You know, Pangoro, or Jackie, whatever the crap you want to call, is not having that. So, he is going to set up a Vital Throw. And your beat up does not even relatively antagonize me. Uh, beat up, if you don't know, it uses a little bit of strength from every single one of your Pokemon because this guy only has two Pokemon only used two attacks however they're all dark and guess what it didn't really do very much and hey pretty good EXP if you don't mind me saying and no no the next Pokemon is Golbat hmm 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 if only we had a Pokemon that was a psychic type that could totally destroy a poison type well that'd be insane and hey we do Vivi is gonna come in here and well, probably take down this Golbat and literally one hit with a Psy Shock so yeah, goodbye, Golbat. See you later, buddy. <laughs> and if I judge the number correctly, something very special is going to happen after this battle. Looks like I was going to get level 36, but that's not actually what I'm talking about. Yes, Eevee is going to level up. Now, when an Eevee that has gone through Pokemon Ami has maximum affection, something incredible is going to happen. Are you excited? Because I sure am. That's right, our Eevee is going to evolve into a new Pokemon. That's right, it is transformed into... Sylveon, a fairy type, which is extremely cool. Now, the reason I did this and did the whole Pokemon Ami grinding uh, is because mostly Eevee was going to transform into either an Espeon or an Umbreon very soon, and we just can't simply have that, and no, I'll stylishly run away. Huh? Uh, where's my power plant pass? Crap, oh no, did I drop it? Uh... How you know, I'll use my stylus deduction. I must have dropped it when I was feeling around that boulder nine steps east of where I'm standing. I only had a dowsing machine. A dowsing machine, huh? Like that lady that gave us the one on the beach. And the dowsing machine is going to pinpoint the power plant pass that is going to let us into this building. Where I can only assume more Team Flare members are hanging out. Let's actually look at Sylveon's stats very briefly. Hmm. Now, if you don't know, Sylveon is a brand new fairy type with a um, pretty decent special attack and special defense, so that's really cool. And it has the move, or actually the ability, Cute Charm, which will sometimes charm opponents upon, you know, contact with it. So that's kind of cool. It currently doesn't know any Fairy-type moves, but rest assured, it's going to get some very soon. Now let's t actually put away our um, <laughs> Dowsing Machine. We don't really need that, and head into this Power Plant. And yes, we can now enter. Ooh. Now, this music in this area is wonderful. This is the Gallows Power Plant, and it sounds just like it's straight out of Pokemon Coliseum. And if you don't know, I really like Pokemon Coliseum. This region really reminds me a lot of it. Gosh, I just love this music. <laughs> I'd suggest not even commentating just because it sounds so cool. Knock, knock, who's there? Uh, an annoying person. Knock, knock, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Knock, 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 knock. Me, you too. What are you talking about, dude? Calm down. And the second we enter the power plant, we are ambushed by another member of Team Flare. Whoa! And, uh, yeah, this guy's got a Scraggy. Whoa. Jackie coming in here. He still has the access to Aerial Ace, and it's probably going to take this guy down relatively quickly. Now, the thing about this power plant is, there's a whole lot of Team Flare people. And Jackie's really good at killing them. So... This is kind of Jackie's time to shine, except for the fact that sometimes Vivi can come in here and do a psychic attack, which is very well appreciated. You know, I'm just saying that Jackie just happens to be extremely strong against half these Pokemon. Alright, Krogunk. We've been through the ropes. I remember your typing exactly now, and it's going to shudder, because it knows I got a side shock with its name on it. So let's throw it at him, just cast our spell, and boom. That hardly cost any MP. And down goes the Krogunk. Yeah. So yes, um, the majority of these Team Flare members are complete wusses and are not to be taken seriously. <laughs> and yes, we get a bunch of money, actually. It's pretty cool. Let's uh, come in here and see what's going on. There's a door to the right, and I'm very curious, and 
huh, it seems that the reason why there's no power in Lumoy City is because these guys are draining and all. Yeah, we're coming to rescue you, but it doesn't matter if I'm just a kid. Blast Team Flare. That's what we gotta say. These guys are gonna sell me some water. Pff, get out of here. I got potions for that, dude. Don't worry about it. Space Base. Power Generator, huh? Sounds like Team Flare really shouldn't have their hands on this, and I love this guy. I tried to hide in here, but I think I got stuck. <laughs> That blasted Team Flare, this energy was only possible by the efforts of Pokemon and out of state architect. Let's actually come in here and see. Hey, it's a Zap Plate. If we ever had an electric type Pokemon, that'd definitely come in handy for him. Cool. I believe I missed a plate, which I may go back off screen. I don't know. I think it boosts like flying type moves, but not really high priority on my list. No, it's, um. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're gonna battle you. <laughs> Let's try to make up my mind, because there's definitely no way to get past this trainer. And my kind of thing for every single Pokemon Let's Play I do, if the trainer's 100% required, I'm probably gonna show it. And hey, another Crow Gunk. Now, I really don't feel like switching in to VV at the moment, so we're probably just gonna knock this guy down with an Aerial Ace. And man, oh my gosh, I, I can't get enough of Aerial Ace. I'm so happy I found that TM. It's such a great move. And the beauty about doing this is, like, every Pokemon's eventually gonna get their own time to shine. I'm not, it's not just the, the Delphox show or the Dual Blade show. You know, everyone's going to get some EXP and everyone's eventually going to get, you know, some stuff. Now, for our latest team member, Skrelp, it may take a little while for him to level up. Just because I kind of want to do it not on screen. He's going to be pretty close to everyone else's level, though, rest assured. So there's not going to be some huge gap. But yeah, I'm going to probably have to do that right after the fifth gym. So don't worry about that, guys. Ain't no right. Golbat, hmm. I don't have a lot of experience with this Pokemon personally. It could be weak to anything. You know, I've never seen him before or anything, and it's actually extremely getting old. Use different Pokemon other than Golbats. Goodness. <laughs> and Gogurt. Good old Gogurt, man. The sucky thing is Gogurt probably won't be very useful against any of these Team Flare members, because he currently doesn't have a move that's super effective against them, but he'll have his time in the sun. Trust me. I get it. Sun synthesis. Photosynthesis. Sun. Ha. Huh. Anyways, we're gonna come over here and immediately get ambushed by this jerk. The heck are you? Hey, stop right there, intruder. I'll warn you now. I can be persistent. He's mm. shaking his finger so fast that it just looks like it's three fingers being shaked. And this rocket grunt wants to battle with us. Mm. He's gonna toss out a mighty Anna. The thing about mighty Annas? You know the funny thing about these guys? They ain't so mighty. They just ain't. Alright, so we're going to use Vital Throw here. Most likely. What? How am I faster than you? Unless it mo used a move that was like negative priority, there's no way Vital Throw should ever go first. That's really strange. And we defeated the Flare Grunt. Haha. <laughs> Took him down. And yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Y, guys. We got Sylveon, our next party member. We got Skrelp, who's. In the future, going to be our next party member. And we also made it to this power plant, which is being sieged by Team Flare. And in the next video, guys, we're going to take all these Team Flare people and throw them outside because they do not belong here. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.